Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're taking a look at uh, a Lenovo ThinkPad T480s. Now, since it's part of the T-Series, it means it's uh, very rugged and can definitely handle harsh environments. Very light, very light. I'd say this thing's maybe about a pound and a half, two pounds, it feels like. Of course, we got uh, the big mouse pad. We got a bit of an acid finish, as usual, which is very nice. Got the buttons. Buttons aren't so big that, uh, sorry, the pad isn't so big it really interferes with your hands, which is nice. And I'm sure that there is a way that I can get the keyboard to light up. But I just can't find it right now. I'm certain that lights up, though. I could be wrong. Leave me in the comments if you know what I'm doing wrong. Anyways, very nice system. Very sleek. Let's take a look at what we got in the sides here. We have, okay, so the first one is uh, Thunderbolt display, or sorry, just Thunderbolt, and then data. That's the new style of mini Cat5, more or less. Then we get Cat5 USB HDMI headset. Uh, not much of anything at the back. Oh, we got, uh, yeah, you can put your SIM card in there. Oh. Magnetized, very nice. All right, take a look over the other side. And geez, it's only two USBs. It's not. Uh, it's not as nice as I would have liked it. It's not as nice as I would have liked it. All right, now let me try to get into this sucker, and I'll see what's inside for you guys. But as far as Lenovo goes, I like this. This is some good stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is, of course, pull the screws out and then use a spudger around the edges to catch the clips. See you guys in a minute. All right, so I just busted her open. You can get an idea where the clips are. All right here. Got some people frustrated when I don't show them exactly where all the clips are. So let's see what we got on here. Not bad. Not bad, just give me a sec to look at it with my own eyes. Okay. So first off, I'm kind of curious about this. That's interesting. Next off, we get this PCI M.2. Oh, we got a lot going on here. Okay, I wonder if that's. Oh, we got something doing. That's not doing anything. Interesting. That'll be the battery attached here. The CPU is right there. Heat sink and the fan. That's interesting how they pipe the heat out. Nothing. Oh. Or I must be on board. Seems to be the way everything's going, but it doesn't mean it's the way I want it to go, really. Interesting. I'll just get a good look at that. So, yeah, no IDE. This is M2 all the way. Nice, nice. Anyways, let me strap this thing back on. Looks like you have to pull it over like that and then clip it back on. Um, yeah, let's get a benchmark going. Actually, I don't even think I've told you guys about the stat specs yet. Let's take a look. Yay, more updates. All right, so of course we got an i7 chip here. Uh, eight core, octo core. Nothing really to write home about when it comes to the video card, unfortunately. What else we got here? 8 gigs of RAM. Yep, that's the good stuff. Alright, time for that benchmark. Alright baby, fire it up. Alright, <clears throat> so we got the tree test and this is not looking good. This is not looking good. This is definitely a... A system for uh, <laughs> this is definitely a system for uh, a rough terrain not so much a gamers station
Yeah. Go, little spaceship, go. We believe in you. All right, so we got a score of 3,417. Not very bad, high CPU. Not the best 3D. But hey, that's uh, that's not so bad. And I'm gonna tell them this is a Lenovo T480S. Upload, I'll let them know what we got. And then, let's take a look at the specs. I'm definitely impressed with the CPU. I think we paid like 1500 for this. Can't remember exactly. But still, not a bad system. Super rugged and definitely should uh, bring us into the future. Respectably. Anyways, that's it for me. Nefron, that's Tech. But like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, take care of each other, folks.